Hey, what's everybody doing here so early? Oh, uh, didn't you get the memo? We're watching another episode of the Mr. Denby Show. <laughs> yeah, you remember that little camera I put in Denby's apartment last year? Well, I put it back. How'd you do that without him seeing you? Well, actually, he caught me while I was putting it back, so I pretended I was a ghost. <laughs> oh, oh, here he comes, here he comes. Shelly, how you doing? Not so good. Yesterday was my first time as a probation officer I ever had to pull a gun on someone. Oh, my God, you OK? Yeah, was, was anybody hurt? No, I didn't even have to pull the trigger. Oh, oh, excellent. Yeah, that means that I can hit on you now without seeming inconsiderate. <laughs> Not now, Norm. I have to get a licensed therapist to check me out. It's procedure. Uh -oh. I'm a licensed therapist. And I am as well. <laughs> I'm not a, th a licensed therapist as much, but I do have a flask of whiskey, which you can drink from. I've got an idea. Why don't you drink it until you think you're clever? Thank you. OK. All right, let's see. OK, uh, there's a checklist of questions we've got to run through here. Let's see. Um, since the incident, have you experienced any anxiety or restlessness? No and no. Good. OK. Uh, do you have anyone to talk to about the incident? Uh, your family, uh, a boyfriend, perhaps? No, no boyfriend right now. I see, I see. <laughs> now, in uh, connection with this incident, uh, do you have a particular type of boyfriend in mind, or are you uh, <laughs> open to say anyone? Danny, is that on the paperwork? Oh. Yeah, sure it is. See, it's uh, but it's in, it's uh, it's it's in Spanish, so you can't read it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm kind of in between relationships right now, but if the right guy came along, um, who knows? Hmm. No es muy particular. <laughs> well. In my professional opinion, Shelley, you might want to start dating someone, because at times like these, I'd want to be dating someone, even if I had to uh, lower my standards a little bit. Danny, what are you saying? Well, Shelley, uh, I guess I'm saying that I would... Hey, guys, you got to see this, man. It's the funniest thing Denby's doing. Uh, Norm, um, <laughs> we're, Shelley and I were just talking. <laughs> Remember when you guys used to date? That was, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, man, you got to see this. Denby's rehearsing what he's going to say to the bus driver. Hello, Mr. Bus Driver. Oh, thank you. It's uh, actually, it's the third blade that makes the shave so close. It always ends the same, but it's never not satisfying. Uh, <laughs> Norm! Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. You bastard! I know, I know that you're behind this. Ah, well now, sir, I can't take all the credit. You know, if you weren't such an odd duck, it wouldn't have been funny. Eh? You're, you're, you're knee deep now, Henderson. I, I've just got off the phone with my boss, Mr. Sweeney. I'd like to see how long you last when I show him how you've invaded my privacy. Yeah, well, sir, before you do that, I think you should look at this hilarious clip reel I've put together of all your best moments. <laughs> as well as a, a second series of outtakes. I call it Denby, Too Hot for TV. I think you're... <laughs>
just more evidence for me to show Mr. Sweeney. You think you got me? Well, I got you, pal. You've been hoisted by your own petard. Petard? What's that, sir? What's a petard? It's, I never heard of that. It, it's a hoisting implement used primarily for her. <laughs> Well, that doesn't even make sense, sir, because I don't own a petard, so... No, 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 look, it's when you try to make someone else look foolish, you just make yourself look foolish instead. Oh, oh, you mean like a moment ago when I pretended not to know what that phrase meant, I was helping you to hoist yourself in your own petard? Exactly. Uh, no, oh. Stop. Hit me. What's this I hear about an employee problem? Hope it's not one of those sexual harassment things again. All right, which one of you broads is mouthing off about getting your ass grabbed? Is it you? Hi, hi. Mr. Sweeney, this, yeah. this videotape contains evidence of a classic case of insubordination perpetrated by this man, Norman P. Henderson. Well, I won't stand for that. You all know what kind of ship I run around here. I hope it's a pirate ship, sir. That is the coolest ship. <laughs> what, are you an idiot? Well, that raises an interesting question, sir. Do idiots know they're idiots? <laughs> right this way, Mr. Sweeney. Get in here, Henderson. This is it for you, Norm. This is the day when my humiliation finally ends. Just would you give me give me a moment here? Yeah. Uh, could could you help me? Still have a shred of dignity. I'm gonna have to resign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, that does it. That does it. I quit. It's good to see you laughing, sir. Although now it's getting kind of disturbing. Attention, everybody. As you all know, of course, Mr. Denby is leaving, so I thought I'd be magnanimous and get him a cake. <laughs> uh, but uh, just uh, so we're all clear, we're gonna wait till he leaves to eat it so he doesn't get a piece. <laughs> Listen, Laurie, um, this is really difficult for me, but I got a, I got a situation I need help with. Yeah, Danny, you can tell me anything. Okay. What is it? You know how when you're friends with someone for a really long time, and then all of a sudden you start having romantic feelings for them? Oh, boy, I saw this coming. Is it that obvious? No, it's not that it's that obvious. It's just that it makes sense. It was going to happen sooner or later. Uh, I guess it's just chemistry or... Shh. So, what do you think? Well, Danny, it's like I considered it. I even had a dream about you once. <laughs> You were cutting my hair, and we ended up rolling around together in the clippings. <laughs> but I think what I'm trying to say is, I just, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll try to love again. Oh, okay, uh, <laughs> let's say I'm in love again, and again it's someone in the office. Oh, my God, it wasn't me, was it? Uh, everyone, everyone, uh, just have a moment of your time. Uh, I want you all to know it's been great working with you. Uh, I'm going to cherish these moments that we've shared, but I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I am a master of my fate. I am captain of my soul. <laughs> well, Mr. Denby is finally gone. Ha! I have no known predator. <laughs> You're pretty pleased with yourself about getting rid of Denby, aren't you? Have uh, my stiff nipples given me away again, sir? Well, 
You know, I just found out that this office is in the middle of a hiring freeze, so guess who's gonna be your new boss, jackass? <laughs> boss jackass is the guy's name? <laughs> this is excellent. I'm gonna be able to think of some good jokes about that guy's name. Moron! I'm your new boss. And let me tell you something else, Johnny jokes too much. I already got a job I don't want. Now I got two, thanks to you. All right, everybody, everybody listen up. There is no way I'm gonna be able to manage this many people, so I've created two groups. Everyone on this side of the room is gonna be Team A. Everyone on this side of the room is fired. <laughs> what? If, uh, if anyone wants to discuss this with me, you can follow me into my office where you will be fired. <laughs>《Mr. Sweetie just fired half of the office! Ah, uh, well, that's only his first day, Lori. Maybe he'll fire less people tomorrow. This is your fault, Norm. Uh, all right, all right. I'll go talk to him, all right? Mr. Sweeney? You're fired! <laughs> You're fired, too! Now, Mr. Sweeney, it's Norm. I have to talk to you, sir. What do you want? Nothing, sir. I just want to tell you, you know, you, you don't have to be the boss, you know? You know, we, you know what you could do is make Lori the boss. She's got seniority. She's been here like 50 years or something. Oh. Freeman! Yeah? Shut up! Yeah? You're the new boss. Don't blow it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe... Here, they've jerked me around all these years. I got my promotion! I And a pay raise! Oh, my God. I'm going to go from an E6 to an E7, and that's got to be at least an extra... Oh, damn it. Well, well, it's still an honor. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Lori. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Lori, I got some ideas about how we can help uh, at the office. You okay. Make it, yeah, make it great. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this from a donut shop. This thing's great. It's called Back in Five. Yeah. Yeah, these will be great for all our desks. The beauty of these are nobody knows when you put them down. Yeah. Did I, did I, did I put it down now or, or did I put it down... 20 minutes ago, or maybe I maybe I put it down a week ago. You know what? Look, look, I've waited a long time to get this job, so just because we're friends, don't feel like you can take advantage of me. Okay, I understand. No, I'm serious, Norm. Yeah, you're serious. No, I'm really, really serious. Really, really serious. What do gotcha. I have to tell you to convince you I'm not joking around here? <laughs> well, frankly, I think we're in a pattern. Whatever you say, I'm going to take seriously. All right, everybody, everybody, listen up, all right? Now, everybody who was just fired is rehired, okay? All right, and, and speaking as the new office administrator, I think that it's very important that I stay in touch. So I want to tell everybody here that I'm going to continue seeing my clients. Ah, uh, congratulations, Lori. I'll be back in five. <laughs> uh, listen, Lori, um, I hate to bother you with everything that's going on. Yeah. But remember that girl that I have a crush on? Yeah, but see, I I've got a new job, and I'm really... If you have girl trouble, talk to Norm. I can't talk to Norm about this. Hey, you can't talk to Norm about... I'm Norm. What About what? It's nothing. I just, I just got this problem with um, this car. A car? Yeah, hey, hey, I know all about cars. I took automotive mechanics in school. No, um, <laughs> see, I, I really uh, want this car. You know, I, I like this car, but my friend also really wants the car, too, and I'm afraid that if I get the car, then my friend's going to be really mad. Well, hey, why don't you take turns driving the car? <laughs> Not that kind of car. Look, Danny, I think we both know that we're not talking about cars here, are we? No. Are we talking about boats? <laughs> <laughs>I'm sorry, Mr. Barton. With the new job, I've just been a little bit overwhelmed. You were saying... It's just I feel like nobody listens to me. Uh, I'm sorry, you were saying... Freeman! Yes! What the hell is this thing that landed on my desk? Uh, that is the monthly budget I sent you so you'd be more aware of what goes on. Nobody ever listens to me. All right, Mr. Bart, one more time. Whoa! What are you doing talking with clients? Well, I decided it was important for me to continue to see my clients. Oh, God's sake, woman, you're in management now. You gotta leave all that mommy didn't love me crap to somebody lower on the food chain. You, from now on, you are gonna tell your problems to this guy. Oh, I just came in for food stamps. <laughs> Well, it's about time you earned them. No. Lori, Lori uh, your alcoholics group is still in the waiting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look, okay. 
This is the idea. Just stop drinking. You don't think, you don't think I'd like to have a drink right about now? You're late. I've got all these people covering your clients. Where have you been? Oh, I went down to uh, buy uh, Shelly a Day of Beauty gift certificate. But instead, I just got myself a full body massage. It was nice. Norm, this job is really hard, and you are just making it harder. Uh, oh, hey, Lori, I I'm sorry. I didn't know. I know. It's not your fault. I just, I hate this job. It's just a bunch of paperwork. I don't want to be an administrator. I want to create programs that help people. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, well, well, if you're so miserable, why don't you just quit? Because if I quit, then Mr. Sweeney will take over and make everybody's life a living hell. I, I want Mr. Denby to come back. No, no, not Mr. Denby. No, th th <laughs> things, are, things are way better with Mr. Denby. Well, it's not better for me. I'm miserable here. What am I supposed to do? Uh, Lori, I can't stand to see you like this, you know? <laughs> I'm going to turn away. <laughs> uh -huh. Right here? I help you? Oh, oh, son of a... <laughs> uh, look, uh, Mr. Danby, I, I don't want to be here any more than you want me here, but I got to ask you something. Well, uh, welcome to Meat and Cream. How can I help you have a meaty, creamy day? Jeez, <laughs> uh, there's... Momar? Mo Momar got burnt by hot oil. <laughs> My name tag isn't in yet. Well, sir, you know, you shouldn't be embarrassed by this job. You, you should be embarrassed by the uniform, but... Look, it was the only job I could get on such short notice. I'm divorced. I've got bills. At my age, you know, if you want company, it's not cheap. <laughs> Look, sir, I have, a, I have a favor to ask you. Could you postpone your important work here and come back to the office? Look, I refuse to talk. If you're not going to order something, just get out. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'll get you fired, so you have to come back Don't to work. Don't you dare. Everything okay? You you got a problem here? Yeah, yeah, I do have a problem. I'm trying to order, and Momar here is being rude to me. What? Uh, Mickey, you don't understand. He's just trying to get me fired, so go back to my old stupid job. He's not even really a customer anyway. Don't you criticize the customer. The customer is king. You tell him what you want. He can get you anything. Well, I would like a, uh, a plain burger, but uh, could you take all the sesame seeds off the bun, number them, and then replace them in the exact same order? <laughs> Smart choice, customer. That's why we make you king. This is ridiculous. I'm not doing that. That is insubordination. You're fired. Ayata, there's a rat on my grill. Get off you. Oh. Look, you haven't bested me, pal. I got options. There, there's a world of opportunity for me out there in a world like this. And Mr. Chicken wants me, you know, the pay is a little less, but if I bring my own cup, they, bring, they give me all the free soda I can... <laughs> Sir, look, we, we need you back at the office. Lori's no good at your job. She's got heart and dreams and vision. We need somebody who's dead inside. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Sir, what, what do I have to do to get you back there? Beg me. I don't beg men, sir. All of you know I saved my begging for the ladies. I'll tell you what, if you don't get down on your knees and lick my boots and beg me to come back, I'm never coming back. I'm never going to back to that office. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, just let me get my coat. <laughs> My former boss threw a flaming rat at me. Hey, Shelly, uh, could I talk to you in private for a sec? Sure. There's uh, something I wanted to tell you, and I didn't want to say it out there. Um, I have feelings for you, and I just want to know if you have feelings for me. Danny, I... Okay, come on, come on, gather round, everybody. Uh, you know that little camera of Norm's? Uh, well, I put it in his apartment last night. I gave him the morning off, so now we can catch him doing something humiliating. <laughs> what the hell is Mickey doing there? Uh, I tell you, Mickey, thank you. 
thanks for bringing over this videotape from your surveillance camera. It's hilarious. <laughs> Don't you think, Mr. Denby? These boots are made for walking. That's what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk. 